ASML refuses to fix Chinese EUV machines. China doesn't need a SML EUV. Join me as I dive into the tech world and challenge the idea that China can thrive without a SML's EUV machines. So, you've probably heard the news that ASML, the Dutch semiconductor equipment giant, has refused to service its EUV machines in China. This move has massive implications for China's semiconductor industry and global tech supply chains. The question on everyone's mind is, what does this mean for China's technological ambitions? ASML's decision has sparked a heated debate about the future of China's semiconductor industry. Many experts believe that without access to ASML's EUV technology, China will struggle to keep up with the latest advancements in chip manufacturing. But I think there's more to this story than meets the eye. Let's not forget that China has been investing heavily in its domestic semiconductor industry. They've made significant progress in recent years, and some of their chip makers are already producing high-quality chips using existing technology. Of course, EUV is the cutting-edge tech that everyone wants, but is it really necessary for China to achieve its goals? The situation is complex, and there are many factors at play. But one thing is certain China will not go down without a fight. They've already shown their determination to become self-sufficient in chip production, and this latest development will only fuel their efforts. Are you enjoying the video? If yes, please subscribe, like, share our videos, let's continue. As you may know, ASML Holdings, the Dutch company that dominates the extreme ultraviolet lithography or EUV market, has refused to service its EUV machines in China. This decision has sparked a lot of controversy and speculation, so let's break down what's going on and what it means for the global tech landscape. ASML's role in the semiconductor industry can't be overstated. The company's EUV technology is crucial for manufacturing the most advanced chips and its equipment is used by major chip makers like TSMC, Samsung and Intel. In fact, ASML's machines are so critical that they're often referred to as the crown jewels of the semiconductor industry. The reason EUV technology is so important is that it enables chip makers to produce smaller, faster and more powerful chips. This is essential for driving innovation in areas like artificial intelligence, 5G and the Internet of Things. Without access to EUV technology, it's difficult for chip makers to remain competitive in the global market. The significance of ASML's decision can't be overstated. By refusing to service its EUV machines in China, ASML is effectively cutting off China's access to the most advanced chip manufacturing technology. This has major implications for China's Made in China 2025 initiative, which aims to make the country self-sufficient in key tech areas. Moving on to the updates on ASML's refusal to service Chinese EUV machines. According to reports, ASML has stopped providing maintenance and support for its EUV machines in China, citing concerns about geopolitical tensions this decision has been met with outrage from Chinese companies, which they said that ASML is unfairly targeting them. ASML's move is seen as a major blow to China's chip ambitions. Chinese companies like SMIC and YMTC have been investing heavily in EUV technology, but without access to ASML's machines, they'll struggle to remain competitive. The situation is further complicated by the fact that the US government has been pressuring ASML to restrict its business dealings with Chinese companies. One of the biggest concerns is that ASML's decision will widen the gap between China and other countries in terms of chip manufacturing capabilities. This could have far-reaching implications for global tech competition, as they thought that China will struggle to keep up with the latest advancements in areas like AI and 5G. But China have already started producing their own EUV machine bypassing the Dutch. ASML's refusal to service Chinese EUV machines has also sparked a heated debate about the role of geopolitics in the tech industry. Many experts argue that the decision is a clear example of the US using its influence to contain China's rise as a tech superpower. Chinese companies are understandably upset about a SML's decision, and some have even accused the company of being a pawn in the US-China trade war. Smike, one of China's largest chipmakers, has been particularly vocal in its criticism of SML, claiming that the company's actions are unfair and discriminatory. Despite the controversy, some analysts believe that ASML's decision could ultimately benefit China in the long run. By being forced to develop its own EUV technology, China could emerge as a more self-sufficient player in the global tech industry. One industry expert recently noted that China's chip ambitions are not dependent on SML's EUV machines. 
In fact, China has been investing heavily in its own EUV technology, and some experts believe that the country could develop its own EUV capabilities within the next few years. Another analyst pointed out that ASML's decision could accelerate the development of new technologies like nanolithography and molecular lithography. These emerging technologies could potentially replace EUV in the future, making ASML's machines obsolete. According to a representative from SMIC, the company is already exploring alternative UV solutions, including partnerships with other companies and development of its own EUV technology. This could be a major game-changer for China's chip industry, as it would reduce its dependence on foreign companies like SML. The real question is, can China find alternative solutions to SML's EUV machines? With their massive resources and talent pool, it's not impossible. In fact, they might just surprise us with their own innovative solutions. The semiconductor industry is highly competitive, and this move by ASML could be the catalyst that China needs to take its industry to the next level. The current state of China's semiconductor capabilities is often misunderstood. They've been quietly building their capabilities over the years, and some of their chip makers are already producing high-quality chips. Of course, they still have a lot to learn, but they're making rapid progress. One of the main challenges China faces is accessing advanced EUV technology. ASML is currently the only company that produces EUV machines, and they've been very selective about who they sell to. However, China has been working hard to develop its own EUV technology. They've invested heavily in research and development, and some of their scientists have already made promising breakthroughs. It's still early days, but China's progress in EUV technology is definitely something to keep an eye on. ASML's decision to refuse service to China has also sparked a heated debate about the role of geopolitics in the semiconductor industry. With the rise of China as a global superpower, there are growing concerns about the security implications of relying on Chinese-made chips. At the same time, the global chip shortage has highlighted the need for greater diversification in the industry. With ASML dominating the EUV market, there's a growing sense that we need more players in the game to ensure a stable supply chain. The EUV technology itself is fascinating. It uses extreme ultraviolet light to create the tiny patterns on a silicon wafer, enabling the production of highly complex chips. ASML's EUV machines are the only ones capable of producing these chips at scale, which is why they're so highly sought after. However, EUV technology is not the only game in town. There are other techniques being developed, such as high nay EUV and nanoimprint lithography, that could potentially rival ASML's technology. China's efforts to innovate independently are actually quite impressive. They've established research centers and partnerships with universities and companies around the world to drive innovation in the semiconductor industry. In recent years, China has also made significant progress in chip design and manufacturing. They've developed their own chip architectures and are producing high-quality chips using existing technology. But let's not forget that ASML is a dominant player in the EUV market. They've spent decades developing their technology, and it's unlikely that China will be able to replicate it overnight. However, China's rapid progress in EUV technology has caught many experts off guard. They've made significant breakthroughs in recent years, and some of their scientists are already working on advanced chip designs. One recent development that caught my attention was China's announcement of a new EUV-based chip manufacturing process. It's still early days, but if they can perfect this technology, it could be a game-changer for their industry. This brings me to a pivotal moment in our discussion. What if China doesn't actually need ASML's EUV machines? What if they've already developed a viable alternative, or are close to doing so? This would be a massive blow to ASML's dominance in the EUV market and could have significant implications for the global semiconductor industry. ASML's refusal to service Chinese EUV machines has sparked a heated debate about the future of China's semiconductor industry. While it's true that China faces significant challenges in accessing advanced EUV technology, they're not going to give up easily. They've made significant progress in recent years, and their determination to become self-sufficient in chip production is admirable. Whether or not they need SML's EUV machines is no longer the question. The real question is, can ASML maintain its dominance in the UV market? Let me know what you think about the future of semiconductor technology in China in the comments below. And if you want to explore more topics like this, be sure to check out my other videos on the channel. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.